Hello, let's learn about the role of molecular diagnosis in the fight against anti. Do we need molecular diagnosis for managing our gram negative SLI blood stream in patient in ICU? What to do? What do molecular diagnosis offer for existing workflow in the management of the blood stream in patient in ICU? Do these advantages offer value to the patient? Let's see. You can refer to an article uh, published in Clinical Empathy in 2013 for the same. Where it is an article on how it is traced, we need better tests for better care for ensuring right antibiotic at the right time. Now let's about, uh, uh, see about the diagnostic methods. We need better tests for better care. The diagnostic, diagnostic method microscopy is probably morphology in minutes. Gram staining, uh, gram staining provides category in minutes. In vitro susceptibility provides days to weeks. It takes days to weeks. Culture takes about days to weeks. Acute and coronation antibiotics. Serologic reaction takes weeks. Monogram antibodies takes hours. Antigen detection takes about minutes to hours. Real-time PCR takes one to several hours. While mass spectrometry takes seconds to minutes after growth on media. So that, that are the challenges regarding the turnaround time uh, microbiology tests. Molecular tests will not replace these conventional methods, but molecular antibiogram and diagnostic clinical microbiology has advantages with some few challenges also. Molecular antibiogram cannot be regarded as, regarded as a standalone test, but, is, but it is a necessity which will, which will be replacing the conventional antibiogram, but rather as a supplemental test which can provide some useful additional information. What molecular diagnosis offers is time to treatment. That's, that's a key advantage of the molecular test. If you, as, we, as, as uh, mentioned before, the blood culture takes up days to weeks. Uh, uh, but however, the impact of the molecular diagnostics and molecular diagnosis is uh, significant. It will, pro it will provide results within an hours, with, within one or two hours that we get uh, the results say from quick FI, that is follicular density hybridization, or my or magic flex test, which provides uh, results within hours. Faster reporting has an impact on mortality. Effectiveness of the practices to increase the timeliness of providing targeted therapy for inpatient with burst immune patients. A lab medicine best practices systematic review and meta analysis mentions this conclusions. Faster reporting, yes, definitely has an impact on mortality as they refer to this article and where it has been observed that the faster diagnostic results have been um, uh, significantly reduced the morbidity as well as the mortality. If you see the various molecular tests such as Shepard experts, CARBA, which is based, which has a higher sensitive, high sensitive specificity, it, it, it allows detection of KPC and DMV, IM, IMP, and all the right, the CARBA resistant genes. However, the limitation is that it doesn't detect all the resistant genes, but, uh, but it prov significantly provides a value in uh, selection of the empirical antibody therapy. Similarly, BDMX check the direct uh, CPC, biomarase film array assay, biomarase film array, and sepsis flow cheap and very genuine. Can't we just continue with the regular stationary testing? What are the advantages of molecular testing? The higher sensitivity and specificity, as we mentioned, as we seen in the last slide, is as a lesser, lesser turnaround time and possibly detecting the enzyme co expression. Now, these platforms can detect the co production of class A or class B or D carbapenems enzymes, guiding the clinicians for the empirical antibiotics. When should clinical microbiology lab to perform this carbapenem detection test? For early initiation of the contact isolation and for early initiation of appropriate therapy. Carbapenem resistance is one of the most concerning for pressing forms of antimicrobial resistance, particularly when encountered in enterobacterial CSU dominance isolation of bacterial pneumonia. Organism displaying resistance to carbapenems can be divided into either carbapenems producing or non carbapenems producing. Or So it's necessary to know the resistance early from, from uh, film arrays, from very genetic uh, blood cultures, luminous, luminous corp, uh, and then the gene expert. It's probably the days, results are provided on the same day and helps in the detection of the resistance genes from the same clinical sample. For example, how does the resistance measure help? It is because, uh, say for example, it is a KPC, which has a hydrogen active penicillin and nidospectrum, cephalosporin, action spectrum, cephalosporin, and astronomical carbapenems. That two antibiotics are cholestin, polymerase, digesacrine, aminobacterium, postromycin, rifampicin, carbapenem, cephalidin, and ibactum. Similarly, we have, have the hydrologic activity information and the active antibiotics available from the molecular diagnostic tests such as MBLs and auger 14 and auger 23 detections. Now, what is the enzyme based? How does the enzyme based therapy in CRI uh, done? It, it is based on, uh, say, it is a class A, then we have cephalidin, ibactum, 
और इनमें पेन रिलेक्टम और डबल कार्बोपेनम इफ इज क्लास बी टेन एल सेवर डायबेटम कंबाइंड विद टेस्टोनम इफ इज क्लास डी टेन सेटो डायबेटम प्लस सेटो डायबेटम एंड देन इफ इज कार्बोपेनस नेगेटिव दैट इज फोरन लॉस ऑफ एफ्लस फॉर्म देन सेटो डायबेक्टम और मेयर पेक्टम और इनमें पेन रिलेक्टम इज बिल्कुल सो द बेस्ड ऑन द एंजाइम बेस्ड थेरेपी अकॉर्डिंगली द साइलेंस मॉडल ऑफ सिस्टम मल्टीटाइबेशन Now, what are the clinical outcomes associated with the with molecular rapid diagnostic test? For blood stream infection, the it is associated with significant decrease in the mortality, increase in stewardship program, but not in its absence. Molecular diagnostic tests are also decrease the time to effective therapy and the length of the stay. It should be considered as a part of the standard of care in patients with blood stream infections. You can refer to the art, uh, article on effect on molecular rapid, rapid diagnostic and clinical outcomes in blood stream infection. It should be based on meta analysis. A 2020 system review mentioned about the effect of molecular diagnosis reducing antimicrobial cost, reducing the length of stay, and increasing the appropriateness of therapy, as well as reducing the mortality. Sharing here in an article the clinical impact of rapid diagnostic test for pathogen and resistance in identifying patients with sepsis. Wherein it, wherein it was observed that a significant decrease in the antimicrobial cost was demonstrated, and there was a significant imp improvement in the rational use of antimicrobials in the, in the antimicrobial treatment of sepsis. Then we have rapid point of care tests such as PCR for resistance detection, which is sensitive and specific and can be used in clinical practice for for antimicrobial stewardship. The clinical utility of molecular tests for guiding therapeutic decisions in blood stream test application in patients have been uh, have been uh, observed through meta. Here in here in uh, presenting a slide, uh, publications of SKS and DSK relations. Uh, implications in gen, uh, uh, published in Journal Medical of Microbiology and Rapid Molecular Testing of Staphylococcus, where it has been observed by the rapid molecular analysis improved the clinical management. Then we have uh, another publication where uh, we mentioned about the influence of gene expert in, in improving, improving the clinical outcomes of Staphylococcus bacteremia. Then we have another study of the success model for lab performance and execution of rapid molecular diagnosis in patients with sepsis. So, uh, the, uh, if we say about the stewardship and the role of molecular diagnosis, you are the institution established stewardship program and means of integrating this rapid molecular diagnostic test with the conventional med, med, um, uh, diagnostics for maximum benefit. Identify the specific services, identify the key users, identify the proper proper mode of communication. Utilization of resources should be rational. The core strategies needs to be added, uh, developed. The development of collaboration of the team of ID specialists, microbiologists, and pharmacists. Develop clear stewardship recommendations. Develop comments to address into uh, the limitation of the test. Develop a strategy for stewardship. Education trainings need, 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 to be, uh, need, need to be done at a regular intervals. Develop concise information materials. Develop lab alerts. Develop comments in the reports. Use educational forums for for the for communications. How to implement a molecular diagnostic rapid diagnostic in your hospital? You can refer to this article on a rapid molecular microbi microbial test for blood in patients due to multi diagnosis and gram negative background published in the Clinical Microbiology in Patients Journal in 2019. How to implement information to be included consider in future clinics and working the impact of rapid diagnosis and rapid decisions, patient outcomes and stewardship intervention to allow generalization and extrapolation to local realities. Provide baseline prevalence of MDR GNB, study for, for different organisms, antimicrobial agents, and resistant determinants. Describe the availability of lab personnel, consider the reporting of time from identification or sensitivity in the lab to actual therapy adjustment. Include detailed samples such calculation, provide clear definitions. Consider two possible uh, access clinical outcomes. Consider direct comparison between rapid test and combination of rapid tests. Molecular rapid tests generally identify limited spectrum of organisms and resistance mechanisms. Results are a useful proxy but not a definite proof. They provide quality but not quantitative results. Rapid identification will, will be likely be more essential in the future. Economic cost and personal availability needs to be necessarily addressed. Consider prioritization of specific patient categories for the applications. Consider feasibility of its implementation.
Therapeutic utilization of rapid molecular testing and clinical metagenomics has not been well established. More studies are still needed, and uh, antimicrobial efforts as the future state of ID diagnostics will see continued expansion of this technological advance. To summarize, rapid molecular detection improves the time to appropriate antibiotics, thus improving the patient outcomes. The detection of resistance mechanisms, carbopropyl detection, can facilitate the personalized antibiotic regime and appropriate antibiotic choices. Both these advantages of molecular tests will result in significant improvement of the clinical outcomes, only when combined with systematic implementation into workflow. Hence, molecular rapid diagnostics should be implemented as a diagnostic stewardship component of a well functioning stewardship program. Thank you.